Hello and welcome to another video. FreeIPA is a fantastic solution for Linux in addressing much of the functionality that Microsoft's Active Directory provides and is built on open source. The catch is that it only is fully compatible with certain RPM-based distributions, particularly Red Hat Enterprise Linux or RHEL, Fedora, or Rocky Linux. So, what if you like to use Arch Linux instead? Well, in Linux, where there's a will, there's a way, as they say. We have plenty of will, so today we will explore one way by using Podman containers and setting up both a test server with web UI and a client. We'll briefly explore the interface to conclude this video. So let's get started. So here we are on the free IPA website. So we've got identity, managing Linux users and client hosts, defining Kerberos authentication, trusts, mutual trusts with Microsoft Active Directory is also an option. Main features include uh, combining uh, Fedora Linux technologies, directory server, Kerberos, DNS, uh, dog tag certificate system, and triple SD. Uh, and also it comes with a nice web UI. So on the Arch Wiki, we've got the Podman uh, article, and we're going to be using Rootful Podman. Uh, rootless Podman interferes with the uh, auto discover. So when they fix that, then we can use uh, Rootless and just follow these instructions that are here in this article. Again, uh, ArchWiki is a fantastic resource for all this stuff. Here's the GitHub uh, project by Adelton, which we'll be using today. And uh, got a bunch of containers that we can uh, take a look at. For our kernel, we have uh, IPv6 stack enabled. So sometimes we get a serious error if we don't use this option that we'll uh, you'll see later how we use. Um, let's look at the Docker Hub. Uh, this is the free IPA server uh, container section. And of the tags, we'll be using the Fedora 34 494 version of free IPA. So, first off, let's sudo pacman-syyu, entering the password, looks like our system's up to date. So let's install podman the usual way. So that's done. Next, let's sudo nano etsy containers registries.conf. And so what you want to do is consider adding these last few lines for the unqualified search registries so that searching and uh, podman pulling work. So I had to add that to make it work for me. Uh, they may fix it in a later date. Um, so until then, what we can do now is we can sudo podman pull free IPA slash free IPA dash server colon and the tag is Fedora 34 and the server version is 494 and hit enter. So we'll let that do its thing. So it's pulling in the images. All right, so next is let's create a storage for the uh, server. So sudo podman volume create serve ball. And that's done. So next let's create the network. sudo podman network create and we'll do it IPA network. 
There we go. I'm a lazy typist. What can I say? Next, sudo podman run name ipaserver dot ipadom dot local dash ti dash h and the host name is again ipaserver dot apadom dot local and then we do sysctl net dot ipv6 dot conf dot all dot disable underscore ipv6 equals zero for enabling the v6 stack. Security option will be using the uh, secure computing profile of unconfined. That'll suppress more errors. And then we do amount type volume and the source will be serve vol that we just created. The target will be on top of that volume. The top level will be slash data. And the network will be IPA network. And we like to publish for the web UI for the 443 port, like so. So the container uh, exposes that and the uh, image will be free IPA server and the tag will be Fedora 34 494. And let's review what we've typed. That's a lot of typing. A lot of places we can uh, mistype something. So I'm just gonna double check here. That looks good. All right. So let's hit enter. Uh, default, no, we'll configure DNS later. Default's good. Also default is good. The realm name, I put DOM is good. Directory manager password, we'll enter a password and enter it again. The admin password for IPA and again. And no, NTP is handled by the host. And this is a container, so NTP uh, is not a problem. Yes, those look good. So let's configure the server with these values. This will take some time. And I'll skip over until it's done. All right, the free IPA server is configured. So let's go to the next terminal and type sudo podman stop IPA server dot IPA dom dot local this password. So we've got to shut it down and then restart it by using the up arrow and click start or type start rather. And then what we can do is we can do sudo podman exec and then start a shell within the container, a bash shell. And there we go. We're now in the IPA server container. So we cat the Etsy hosts. This is our IP address for the server. So we want to preserve that. So we hit copy. So we'll need that later for configuring DNS, IPA, DNS, install, dash dash IP dash address equals, and then our IP address for the container. And we don't want any DNS forwarders configured. And we'll just hit enter. Default's good for the reverse zones, for the IP, reverse zone name, all the defaults are A-OK. -okay for this project. Good, that didn't take long. Let's Kerberos init admin. Let's give it the admin password. And yep, there it is. There's the uh, uh, entry for our Kerberos uh, ticket. 
let's do sudo nano at c hosts. That's on the host now, not the container, but the host. And let's add an entry for our IPA server container. So that'd be IPA server dot IPA DOM dot local. That looks good. Because now what we can do is we can open the web UI of the IPA server. So it's IPA server, HTTPS, IPA server, IPA DOM, local, and slash IPA slash UI. And of course, the certificate is not valid. That's OK. We're self-signed. So um, we log in as admin and the password and hit enter, and there we go. We have one active user, admin, and we have one node, IPA server. So let's go ahead and take care of a client, a test client. So we can do that by sudo podman pull addleton slash free IPA dash client, and we'll want the latest tag associated with that and hit enter. Let that do its thing. Okay, and there we go. We got the image for the client. So let's set up the volume, the storage volume for the client. Uh, call it CLT vol. And then we can do sudo podman run. We'll call the name of the container clt1.ipadom.local dash ti dash, and then the host name will be again the same thing clt1.ipadom.local. And then we'll take care of the IPv6 uh, stack issue with that system CTL uh, portion option. And we also set the um, seccom uh, profile as unconfined as before with a server. And we like to mount the volume, type equals volume. The source would, in this case, would be CLT vol. And the target will be the top level directory in CLT vol called data. The environment variable is the password, which I gave, which happens to be, this is it, with an exclamation. And the network, of course, is the same network, IPANET WK, or IPA network. The DNS server will be the IPA server, which is living in this address. And the container will be based on free IPA client and the latest tag. And that's a lot of typing again. So let's just review, check for typos. Looks like I typed everything correctly. It's a lot, a lot of pain to do this. Um, <laughs> a lot of pain, so you don't have to. So we'll ignore the NTP D timeout uh, since the host takes care of all time synchronization for all the containers. Looks like it all discovered everything correctly. It has some errors uh, that we'll just ignore, some SSL errors. Uh, so it's going to enroll the client, which it just did. So um, we're in the client. We're in a bash shell. So or an interactive shell. So Test user one doesn't exist, right? Let's let's see if we can create one for it. So we go to the free IPA UI. So there's the host name for the client that we just created. And let's go and add user login will be test user one. First name is test. Last name will be user1. Let's put that as part of the admin group ID. 
And uh, let's also not forget to add a password, or create a new password, rather. Let's enter it again. Let's click Add. So there's our test user, and that's its UID. Let's keep that in mind. So let's do this again, and there it is. So uh, basically, we've remotely created a new user on this client container. Fantastic. So free IPA works. So let's get back to the uh, web user interface. We've got active users here. We created a test user account. These are the services, DNS, web, cert, DNS, um, got host groups, IPA servers should just be our sole IPA server container, and that it is. Um, got no net groups configured. Under policy, we've got uh, host based access control here. Um, got sudo. Uh, under password policies, we've got global policy. For example, uh, here you can set the maximum lifetime of uh, passwords, etc. Kerbos ticket policy. Uh, got all the configuration items there. Got the authentication. So here are the certificates store. And here's the certificate authority configured. And network services default. The IPA server role-based access control, we've got already configured some of them, including help desk, user administrator, security architect, IT specialist, uh, all those are already there and can be modified at your whim. We've got uh, IDs, real, realm domains is ipadom.local. And here we've got one server, ipaserver.ipadom.local. And we've got two roles enabled, the Certificate Authority Server and the DNS Server. The main level is one. The topology graph, well, it's just got this one server here. So we've got the uh, domain and Certificate Authority. So not much happening there. I'll leave it to you to uh, do further configuration and go on your own free IPA adventure. Here's our configuration, Some more configuration items. We, we, we don't have time in this video to go through all this. this you probably uh, can spend hours talking about or exploring this. So uh, there we go. So that's that. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you next time.